All right, we're here at Top Shelf Aquatics. Getting in. Again. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at that massive eel. Go, you stupid hell. You like it? What? It's a big seahorse. Cool. I'll eat him. Oh, okay. Welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith. This is Logan's Aquatics. What's up? And in today's video, we're gonna be probably getting him some fish today. We're gonna look at top shelf, see what we can get him. We're gonna grab him a lid this time because I did forget to get that last time, or we forgot to get that. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we get inside. Before we get into today's video, make sure you stay to the end of the video because we are announcing the giveaway winner from my video, like two videos back, um, which Zoa that won. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, we're here at Top Shelf Aquatics. Uh, there is the fish section section over here. For all of you that don't know, I do actually work here, so we can do some, some behind the scenes stuff um, with Logan here. Um, like last time we fed a shark, which was pretty cool. Do you see how that's I have a more eel. No, we don't have a shark, but I do have a more eel we can feed. So I got a more eel in here. Um, he's hiding underneath this toadstool coral. Um, but yeah, the shark is sold, so we don't have the shark anymore. But I do have that massive eel. What I mean, like, eel? literally huge eel. He's as big as I am. He's actually friendly. The zebra eels are actually friendly. I found a little baby shark that we replaced him with. Look and look. Baby shark. What are you singing? <laughs> Wanna sing that again? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Of course, we gotta check out the 90 gallon display. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite tanks in here. Don't mind the Red Sea advertisement, but definitely one of my favorite tanks in here. Uh, they added a bunch of new Ghanis um, and a bunch of other corals, so. Bunch of new corals in the 25 gallon display as well. And we actually added some fish too. So there's three bang eye cardinals in here, and then there's a uh, now possum wrasse as well. So the Bangai Cardinals over here, these are Bangai Cardinals, um, they're really good beginner fish uh, for salt water, uh, they're pretty much just black and white uh, Cardinals, but they school, uh, they eat really well, and they're just an overall pretty good like first beginner fish, I guess. Oh, a bunch of those little shrimp things. The cook pods. Yeah, those things. Cook they're like, ones like that big, <laughs> and like, I just watched them fight, <laughs> it's quite interesting. Okay, so we could probably get you a mandarin goby. Um, I have a bunch of target mandarins right now. And the target mandarins are, are pretty easy to get to eat frozen, like as a mandarin. Um, so we could probably get you one of them. Uh, let's go feed them and see if they're eating. No, no, they're super passive. Okay, so I can get But let, we'll see if they eat frozen first. So we'll feed them. All right, uh, this is the target mandarin. So I don't even know if you like it, but if you do, you'd probably be able to have one because of how many pods you have. Yo, he's dope as hell. You like it? What? Right, I have a couple of them. There's more over here. Look, so there's one here. Oh, they look, they look the same. Ooh, he might be more colorful. Huge one right here. Are they all looking the same colors? Yeah, they're all gonna be the same. I, I don't know. I feel like this one's brighter. 
Yeah, that'd be a little bit different uh, brightness oh, wise. What about little, little guy? We'll feed them all and then see if any of them are eating. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and feed them. Uh, wait, we'll just feed all of them, see if any of them eat frozen. Or even if they're remotely interested, that's a good sign. Um, these are really rare to eat frozen. The target mandarins are, um, are better at it though than the regular green mandarins. The regular green mandarins usually don't eat it at all. We're gonna do this a couple more times uh, with the rest of the mandarins. Um, we gotta be a little patient and watch them see if they do eat. Um, and then we'll get back to you if we find one that does. This target mandarin right here actually did eat frozen like immediately when we put it in the water. So that's a really good sign and we might end up picking him up for Logan's tank, but we'll see. Wait, say that again? The day I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll come back and I'll get a man to shrimp. All right, y'all hear that? Oh, shake get on this our man camera. to 5,000 subscribers. Shake on our camera. All right, shake you shook on it. Shook on it. Logan, look. It's a big seahorse. Look at how tiny they are. How much are they? I have no idea. They're so small. Are you doing it, Logan? Are you gonna pull the trigger? Are you gonna spend that? Your video video better go viral if you do. Well, my video's gonna get copyrighted and taken down. Maybe. I think I like the other ones better. Their pattern patterning is cooler. That's what I was thinking. A little more active as well. And they're a little bit bigger. Are you gonna do that? What are you doing? You can't have him. He'll eat coral. I'll eat him. Okay. I made a decision, guys. So let's go with these two. That one. And that one up there. Okay, the two cardinals. All right, and then I think it's this one, right? It's already Mandarin that was eating frozen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll bag him up. I really want to be a Logan and Colton video. I'm gonna do something stupid or say something stupid. That is true. This is pretty stupid. Let's get these two too. Oh, we're doing it. Three fifty on that right there. Oxygen in that bad boy. I catch it with my finger, twist it. What I like to do is I um, I take two sides of my band, put my pinky through, pull the one end, pull it tight, and then I wrap it around a couple times. Basically pulling it even tighter and make the bag like nice and tight. If you guys were here for like one of his first videos, I try to do that and um fail. Something he happened. Didn't fail. I didn't fail, but someone said great. some someone said something weird. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Go check that video out. Go check it out. Link will be in the description. Yeah. Great video. Especially because I'm in it, but hey. He's a little fast little fella. It's like watching NASCAR. They're taking a bunch of left turns. Drop the fish? Um, I ha actually I have. Um, what happened was it was in the container, and then when I went to pour it, he actually jumped. That's, off. What, that's what I was thinking. Like, I was, that's only ever happened like once or twice. That's what I was asking. Have you ever dropped the fish? It's time. I'm bagging him in a stupidly big bag because we won't be home for a little bit. Um, yeah. So just in case, I'm gonna give him a decent amount of oxygen, especially for that price. Especially bag, for that. So, um, yeah, we'll bag him up. Well, that's just rookie numbers, right? Oh yeah. I wish. I wish that was like, eh, no, no nothing. Did you get them both at one time? Oh yeah, I'm built. The, the two for one? All right guys, go ahead and guess the price of how much you think all these are gonna cost. And whoever gets it right, Colson will give a kiss to. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, y'all better give this like, this video some good likes and make sure you subscribe to his channel because he's spending a lot of money for it. And, and don't forget, if I hit 5K, this, this, this dude right there is coming home. All right guys, the total's gonna be 519. Let's do it. The fish floating in the water. We'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, we're putting the fish in this bucket and then we're gonna pop them in the tank. They've been floating for about 15 minutes.
be the target manager. Next is gonna be the Bang Eye Cardinals. Okay, now we gotta build the lid now that we have all the fish in the tank over there. Um, we have about five fish added to a 20 gallon, which is a lot, but at the same time, we only have LPS and softies in there, so we want the tank to be a little dirtier. Um, and once these fish do get a little bit bigger, we can always move them into my tank or my own of my dad's tank and uh, give my, Logan some newer fish. Okay, here are the instructions here. Um, shouldn't be too hard to build. Um, I'm not really gonna film all this because it's gonna take a bit, so I'll just run a montage of us doing it. I'm a unicorn. It. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got the lid made. We're now putting it on the tank. Just gonna spread out the clips here. Should fit perfectly because this is actually built for this tank specifically. They're all kind of just huddled up in this corner here. They'll get more used to it as they've been in here the longer they've been in here. Um, I can have Logan give me an update on them later in the week. Uh, but yeah, here's the, the lid, the final product of the lid. Definitely needed that on here just in case the fish would jump at the night. Um, especially on the first couple of days, they're going to be more finicky. Um, a little more scared, so they're going to be more prone to jumping. Okay, now it is time for the giveaway, so let's get into that. All right, I got all the names on here on the spin the wheel. Uh, there's so many of you that entered, so thank you all so much for that. But yeah, let's spin the wheel. Alrighty, Lid Glass, you are the winner. Congratulations. Um, just message me on Instagram and I'll get in contact with you and give you that. So, Alrighty, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let us know what he should get in the future for his tank, like coral-wise or invert-wise. Obviously, fish were a little bit max full on that. Um, but yeah, make sure you check out his channel as well. A link will that, of that will be in my description. Hopefully, you'll be able to post this video yeah. if YouTube lets you. For no reason. Yeah, till next time. Peace. Ooh.